Excuse me a second. Yeah. You don't run the mink. Yeah. I know you're trying to help. I was going to do the same thing in terms of recognizing Mr. Mike because this is his motion, so he will be answering all the questions. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Jay. I just want to make sure it's clear. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Meyerberg, you have the floor. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you for calendaring this. Um, as loud as possible for the folks outside. Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you. Um, I appreciate it being calendared uh, as well as uh, from uh, Commissioner Pastor Jordan. Uh, this is an uphill battle. I'm sure you understand this. Uh, let me put a few issues on the table in terms of why I am, have put this forward. Uh, number one is we are fiduciaries. Everyone at this table, uh, the four remaining members, we are fiduciaries. We are here to manage the assets for the exclusive benefit of the members and their beneficiaries. And to me, it's obvious when, and this, is, this uh, dovetails on uh, Mr. Zeltzer's comment, that when a company pays a fine, in the case of Wells Fargo, $175 million, in the case of the banks, billion, $7.3 billion, and a lot of fines, that hurts the value of our investments. These fines detract from the value of our investments. It is as simple as that. Um, it, I believe it parallels Sarbanes-Oxley as a result of 2002, where the heads of the companies had to take responsibility for their subordinates, which is why level one is on the table. Level one has to do with the chairmen of the board holding the simultaneous positions of CEO, chief executive officer, and a member of the board, typically the chairman of the board. Just as an example, we have several different banks here, and, and at the suggestion